of what will become one of the entrances to the future Laird Station. Behind me is the cavern that will house the concourse and the LRT platform. But what does all this mining entail? Well, we spoke to an engineer on site to find out more. At Laird Station, we decided to use the mining method as opposed to the cut and cover. The first reason is because the station is one of the long longest stations on the project. It's over 500 meters of excavation and also uh, it reduces the disturbance on surface uh, for businesses, for traffic and the neighborhood around. Mining uh, starts with the pre-support of the ground above your excavation line and then you excavate here at Laird Station and uh, it's on average 1.5 meter a day. Uh, after excavation, we install our initial lining, which includes shotcrete and rebar. Plus, you have to support uh, your excavation round before you go ahead and do your next excavation when you go further for the safety, for the, the guys and the equipment. The whole project is going to take on approximately two years. Uh, that depends on the ground conditions and the, se the sequence you have to follow with the ground conditions. After mining, we uh, start the concrete works, the structural work, which means that we start with the invert slab concrete, we pour walls eventually, and then the arch concrete work. As we progress with excavation, we're gonna finish one area to be able to start the concrete works as we finish excavation in the other area of the station. So that way we're going to reduce the time frame of the impact on surface and underground. 